So, if you are working remotely and you wish to travel and you don't know what you have to take with you to work and travel easier. So in this video I'm gonna show you all things that I'm using while traveling around the world and believe me, they are helping me a lot in every country. So watch till the end. But before it, like and subscribe. So I have this bag from Decathlon with all my stuff I'm using every time. Let's start from some accessories, from adapters to be exact. So I have here some different kind of adapters which are very helpful in every country because as you guys know different countries has different sockets so I'm using some different type of plugs and if you are in countries like Malaysia or some British like countries which use these weird three pin sockets you definitely need to buy this one plastic thing as you can see they have like three pins the only thing you need to do is just plug this in and just use it like a normal socket and as you can see it has only two holes pretty useful thing by the way so yeah it's kind of a big problem Problem, especially if you're traveling around the world like me and I'm currently in Malaysia right now so they are helping me a lot all right let's go next next up are some cables god damn and my main cable I use every time is HDMI cable 4k because we are renting Airbnb every month and pretty often we have a TV and this is the great opportunity guys use your TV like a second screen if you're working remotely or plug in some things like I don't know Mac mini I'm using it like Apple TV pretty often and some things like my Steam Deck because I can plug in this HDMI cable to my USB hub which I'm gonna show you a bit later and I can plug in into my Steam Deck and just play like a normal console. Next up of course what this thing is damn damn I can't find this thing oh okay it's plugged in into my phone right now also I'm using USB hub which is pretty important stuff especially if you have some devices with USB-C type of connection for example I can plug in into my Steam Deck and just plug into my TV. If I'm using MacBook, I can extend my connections. We're using this thing pretty much often because sometimes it can help, especially if you have some different devices. All right, the next thing which I'm using since I'm traveler, I also have some weights. If you're guys planning to travel, you have to wait a lot. Most of the time, flight tickets will include 20 kg of the luggage and seven around 7 kg of carry-on bag. This thing is pretty helpful so guys you have to get this stuff because I don't know how to live without it the next step guys is the iPhone stand which I'm using pretty much often because if I have a working place or something like that or a big table I simply use this thing to to place my phone here it also super compact you can also place your tablet here or your portable display so this thing can fold pretty easily and it doesn't need a lot of space in you in your backpack or something like that so you have to get this since we're talking about stands I also have a stand for my steam deck which are 3d printed I bought it in Poland like one dollar or something like that pretty common stuff it's super light as you guys know while traveling every gram matters all right since we're talking about steam deck stand let's talk about steam deck itself since I'm using Apple it's better to use something different to play games but actually Apple has a lot of cool stuff right now for games actually you don't need it but I like to play games a lot I play every day steam deck is pretty much important stuff for me so that's the first version which I bought like I don't know three years ago in Poland too from the steam itself and I'm using it pretty much often again I can connect it to my TV and play like a normal console and to play like a normal console you have to get the gamepad which I have that's the Xbox gamepad Xbox one s or something like that I don't remember actually it's pretty old because I bought it like five years ago and still working all right let's talk about my main composition of my build travel build so first of all it's my display which is Arzo portable display I show it actually pretty detailed in my previous video so you have to go and watch it this is one is Arzopa model G1 game with 144 Hertz cool stuff guys you have to get it if you want to travel it doesn't need any power supplies at all for example if you're just using your macbook you can just plug in this display via usb-c to your macbook and it will work so you don't need additional power supply or something like that for that or for example if you will connect this thing to your steam deck and you wish to charge your steam deck as you guys know in steam deck we have only one socket usb-c you can just as you can see this one has two sockets first one is to plug in into usb-c to steam deck 
Deck, the second one can be plug in your charger of the Steam Deck. So your Steam Deck will be charging by this display, through this display. So amazing stuff. So the next one is, of course, Mac Mini. I am using the old one Mac Mini M2. I'm pretty amazed of this powerful machine. So if you wish to buy a stand PC, like desktop PC or something like that, buy a Mac Mini. Actually, you can get an even better Mac Mini right now with the M4, but this one is so amazing still in 2025. And it will work, I don't know, for four years. Next five years, I can use this and it will work well. The next app which I'm using to work something on my Mac Mini is, of course, keyboard. So I'm using this one keyboard. That's the Apple keyboard, simple one without Touch ID. And guys, don't buy with Touch ID, you don't need it. It's much expensive but it's just useless because for example if I need to unlock something on my Mac mini I can just use my watch or I can just type my password so this one is pretty cool stuff it can be used like months without charging super light which is important while traveling and also looks great look at that so the white one is crazy all right the next thing which I bought recently if you watch my previous video you probably know that I bought the magic track pad finally because my old mouse still serious it's super bad it's almost broken so i decided why not to buy the trackpad instead of the mouse because mouse has some mechanical things which can be broke sometimes and for me it's happens every time and most importantly guys it can be used through all your apple devices or like different devices i don't know so i've been using this trackpad for like two weeks and it's super cool and actually you don't need a mouse if you have this trackpad because it supports everything you can do whatever you want with only just one hand and if you don't play counter strike you don't need the mouse believe me so this one is the best thing to buy because it's super light it doesn't require any mouse rock which i hate the most because they are so weird looks strange always dirty and this stuff looks clean and of course guys i'm using headphones which is airpods pro first generation i bought it like three years ago or something like that i don't remember but maybe in the future i will change it because better life is not so good i can work like six hours with noise cancellation without it it can be like eight hours something like that so which is not cool for me but also pretty cool stuff write down in the comments if you are traveling what do you use to work remotely if you like this video subscribe and see you next time